Hello, this is Only Paper, and uh, this is a brand new setup. Uh, this is a brand new instance of uh, OBS uh, in a brand new computer, um, and all of that. So um, let me show. I forgot to copy that over. Let me go ahead and do that right now. One moment. All right, so you should be hearing me now. Uh, so as you can tell, I'm uh, still figuring things out. Um, so this monitor right here, uh, right here in the with the green and all that kind of stuff, this is my secondary monitor. Uh, why don't I give you a quick tour of how this all looks because that way you can uh, see what's going on with it. and. Uh, the, the goal for this video will be to do a uh, new template, which will be shown over here. But in order to do that, I think I need to show you what all this looks like over here. So you kind of have an idea of what is happening. So with this new laptop, uh, it's a kind of a weird setup. And this, this monitor right here, uh, the resolution is terrible looking. It is absolutely uh, blurry on my side as all get out, and it's just awful. Um, when I move out of the uh, my apartment that I'm currently in and find somewhere else and use the old monitor, this one is going to uh, <laughs> going to go away. But until then, we have to work with it. So uh, the way that I have it now is I have a basically a shelving like a kind of like a real shelving unit um, compared to the fake ones you see uh, on uh, television I suppose um, but on that shelf uh, we have uh, two main tiers we'll go like this and the tier that uh, this laptop resides on or the monitor resides right here and it's not to scale or anything like that. Um, for the old monitor and old laptop, uh, they are right here. And I'll give uh, color coding so that way you see that later. And then the uh, desk that I have with the uh, basically a, a end table with some bricks to have for ergonomics, that is over here. So it's, uh, oops, I was looking. I was looking away from the screen and that caught got away from me so here is the laptop and i'm doing all this to kind of show you the uh <laughs> just how weird it all is right now for me so red is the uh monitor the monitor that was connected into we'll go we'll go yellow uh we'll undo that we'll go yellow with a little bit more of a uh, closed box there so these two connect together, and that works out for the old side of things, which works out fairly well. Um, there's still a lot of stuff that I need to do on this old laptop, um, a lot of projects to wrap up and such, so that this is going to be a, a longer term uh, kind of thing. But eventually what I want to do is like every few years upgrade the, the new laptop and phase out the older laptop and give that to someone or do something with that that is uh, productive um, but uh, yeah I wanted to have the new laptop which uh, will feature in green here uh, the new laptop connects into the uh, we'll do one of these into the uh, new monitor over here uh, and we'll do we'll do that using like this this new this new monitor um, it doesn't have any drivers uh, it, it connects in via HDMI but it does not have drivers so it uh, it just looks terrible it just looks really blurry uh, the the cursor there uh, looks a lot nicer on uh, the other monitor this one is super blurry uh, but as far as I can tell the the visual here is fine. And so 
I wanted to give you that as kind of the the idea. And then uh, when I do podcasting, I also have a um, a cell phone uh, that I'll probably put maybe down here. And so that cell phone will be in purple. And that is uh, going to be like the, it was the old tester for this. The old laptop will probably be the tester to make sure everything looks good and such. But uh, I might use the, the cell phone for something there as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's very bad, uh, very ugly. Um, but uh it's the best I got right now. I could always shuffle things around and put OBS over here, um, and then uh, show. I can I can briefly show this. Uh, I feel like uh, if I close out of Discord, yeah, I can I can do that. So I could flip these. So instead of having this on display one, I could have it on display two. Um, which I would need to then adjust. So we'll just go ahead and leave it with display one here. So um, the reason why I show all this is because it's part of the podcast for the new beginning episode, uh, the 2023 new beginnings episode. I uh, wanted to show kind of um, a the literal new beginnings. <laughs> it's uh, it's been it's been kind of a, a weird day uh today being the uh 21st of uh december 2022 so um let me go ahead and save this so that way i can have this uh, image uh although crappy in quality i might want to send that to folks in the future um so what i figured i'd do is i'd uh i'd walk you through some of how this all looks and some of the details of this so that way we can build up to the overlay but um though this is kind of like a podcast um pre-show but more of a technical training side of things so first off um let's uh, make this a little bigger uh you see over here um the monitor itself doesn't show me this detail over here uh the uh the visual is really um poor quality but from what i can tell this all looks pretty good i'll do a screenshot here and look at it on the other monitor um bring that over here yeah everything looks fine on this side uh so it's just the uh the way i figure it is it's the the video output it's uh it's the hardware side of it uh, doesn't render correctly uh, because there's no driver for this generic monitor, uh, no name brand monitor. Um, but inside of OBS, everything looks fine. So I'm happy about that. And uh, so next up we have, uh, uh, well, let's, let's walk through everything here. So we have the SIP uh, mic. That's my side of it. Uh, otherwise, you couldn't hear me. Um, we have the, the new for this version of OBS, uh, you have the, oh, I should make a note here too. Uh, let's see filters. So if I turn these on, uh, right now the noise gate, noise suppression, if I turn them on, then, uh, the audio stutters and has really bad hiccups. So, um, you'll have to excuse me for a while as I figure out the settings for that because uh, I I refuse to have my audio cut intermittently, randomly, stochastically, without any purpose. Uh, only because uh, the way the way I might describe that is: see down here, uh, if it spikes into the red, it would just chop it rather than uh, smooth that out. So uh, that doesn't work, and I've I've checked the the microphone settings on this new laptop are worse than the old one so uh that's awkward um uh, <laughs> so maybe maybe this microphone long term this headset goes to the old laptop and then i get a new headset for the new laptop maybe that's the solution 
Um, but as far as what I can scrounge up with what I have, this is the best I can do. Uh, and if you don't like that, then uh, uh, stop watching the video and uh, give give a big old thumbs down and maybe leave a nasty comment and I'll, I'll laugh at you and uh, delete the comment, but uh, I'll have fun doing that. So this is all for the all but sip side, which would be all the projects I'll do going forward. Um, this would all be categorized as a, uh, well, let's see. So the color wise, uh, what we might do is we might say, uh, B5 E61 D. And then, um, the other colors would need to be based around, uh, what I'm doing. So what we'll do is we'll have these as, uh, grouped together we'll group them as underlay. So that way I have that as the consistent side of things. Um, and then if I were to want to build up another, um, uh, let's see. The way I would normally do this is I'd have it, um, so if I were to move this up here, then you don't see anything. So I need to keep that down there. But if I were to have, uh, okay, so I guess I would have this as the overlay. So let's rename this briefly, overlay. And then underneath that, I might have like, uh, let's say um, I'd want to have like text. Um, this would be for music. Uh, well, what would I want to have here? Uh, what would I want to do here in the other OBS that you can't see because uh, it's on the other computer? Um, okay, so Novel 02, actually, let's do that. Novel 02, and I'll have it as N02, um, and that would be, uh, let's see what I have for Novel 02. I have just a big old image going, so we'll do... We'll figure out, um, yeah, that wouldn't be a, that wouldn't be a picture. That would be a new underlay as, as it were. So it would be equivalent to having, um, a kind of a cutout right here. Um, and then over top. So I guess the B5E61D would only be for, um, the underlay side of it. So, yeah, well, the way I'll do this, uh, thanks for um, being patient with me as I describe the situation. Um, so let me draw you a picture of how this will look now that I have it um, arranged. So first, before I do, uh, I'll put in a text box with um, you know, the monitor, and I'll have to uh, make that a little bigger. Monitor, spin, mic color okay so what we have over here is uh let's bring obs so i can see it so we have this right here this is the what i call the underlay that's everything that uh, that makes the rest of the engine go so that all kind of stays within um this box here, and then there's the spin box up here where the face smiles and spins. Um, that's been a consistent kind of bit of the iconography of the page, um, or of the, uh, the YouTube and the broadcasting, um, so that's not going anywhere. Um, and so what I'll do here is I'll have the various colors for the things that I do. So we'll do it in a more polite um, kind of color scheme. So for red, we have uh, podcasting. We have for orange, we have art. For yellow, we'll try how see how this looks. Yellow. Uh, let's go. Let's call that yellow just because uh, video games. Uh, we have green for writing, blue for online stuff, and purple for...
for offline stuff. So podcasting would be like if I have any kind of uh, specific like uh, the medical meandry stuff as I'm working through that. Um, that's a lot of just talking, researching, stuff like that. Uh, art is drawing like this, uh, except if it's uh, diagram type stuff, then that's under online stuff, which we'll talk about later. Video games are things that I put into a controller, aka my keyboard, and I uh, make the thing go to uh, do the thing, and uh, it's video games. Uh, I, when I do live writing or live editing, that's under green for writing. Online stuff is... Uh, like technical training, stuff like this would be considered technical training of how I set up OBS. And then offline stuff would be like talking about flow tank stuff that I don't do in a computer. Uh, so then, for example, if I wanted to do a writing one, then I'd have a big old kind of um, how I would do this actually is closer to like this. And then I'd have, uh, I'd have kind of like a slide like this that I would just apply over top. And if I were to want to have one for the uh, video game side, then I do one of those for the uh, offline stuff, kind of like that. And then every, all, all the stuff there would I would customize, but uh, these factors would be the same. And that's the, um, that's the new strategy for OBS. So I'll save this as well off screen. This would be a new OBS other. And then the way that I'll do this for the podcast will also require a little bit of a different perspective here. So we have, we have another instance of paint open. Uh, so what we'll have here is we'll have the screen. And so this will be the, uh, the monitor, everything that you see here. And I could fill up the whole screen for the capture, uh, which what I mean by that is uh, this is what you see, but how I do that is I have the second monitor that you saw before. Uh, I believe that was in, a, let's take a look. That's why it's good to keep that kind of stuff here. Uh, so the second one was in blue and then green. So there you go. So blue and then green. So with, uh, just to confirm, yeah, the monitor is in blue. So the monitor is everything like, say like uh, for the most recent episode we had, which was on the holidays, it was Bella's side that I captured. And then on the green side, that was uh, OBS and et cetera the et cetera being everything from uh, my notes that I take uh, to um, chat windows, uh, Discord messages, stuff like that. Uh, kind of wizardry or witchery uh, would be the best way to describe that. Um, so the way that I could do this is I could fill up the whole page with all of Bella's stuff or when, uh, say like Nigel, uh, when we talked about sobriety, um, when we do our kind of thing and then there's a desktop. So we'll just go ahead and save that, uh, new OBS and then we'll save that for sip. Um, so, uh, I could fill up the whole screen and that could work out pretty well, but I think what I want to do instead is I want to capture this and then resize this by 50%. Within that 50%, that's where you saw from before this right here, where it's green, uh, green and then gray. And so with that, we have the um, we have the blue right there for Bella, Nigel, or whoever. And then for everything else, this would be in gray. This would be the custom overlay that I would draw each and every time. Um, like I'd modify some bits of it. And I found that to be very helpful, uh, very useful. And uh, it's something that I find is uh, uh, when I watch podcasts uh, that aren't all video, let's say, 
Um, I like this kind of level of abstraction where you can see characters and such. So the way that I've done it before is I've had like, say like Bella over here, uh, Idi over here, and then me over here. And so that's kind of like the, uh, I don't know how you'd want to phrase it. Like it would be kind of fun to say like the core, the SIP core audience, and like the SIP core crew. And then like say with, uh, with Nigel for the sobriety ones, we might also bring in uh, Bella. So we'd have, uh, uh, we were planning for like the work podcast to have, uh, oops, have a, uh, have like four people, right? So, uh, Nigel is represented in, uh, blue. We'll put in a different color blue here. Uh, and what we'll do, yeah, this will be fine. So blue here, um, see how that kind of would work out fairly well. So before we do though, I want to, I want to make sure that it's not completely centered because that would impact things. Uh, so what I like about the new OBS is that you can see the the pixels and all that kind of stuff. So I want to have this. Um, let's see. I don't need this right here. We'll throw that up top or down underneath. Um, okay. Can I can I do that, please? <laughs> Uh, apparently I can't. Uh, how about this? Can I put that? Um, okay, uh, I'm just gonna gonna get rid of gonna get rid of this. Okay, new OBS. Um, I don't I don't need that. Uh, scene transitions. Where are you? Uh, view. Um. Da -da. Docs, scene, transitions. There you go. There you go. Okay, so we can move this over a bit more and get a little bit more over here. Um, I can also do this as well. I can change the color of all this. So we'll do set color, custom color, uh, B5E61D. So that way it... Uh, has its own kind of flavor. Um, and what we'll do is we'll have, uh, this is for the text so that goes up here. This is the test to see that the uh, sound gate was acting up and all that. So we have the left monitor, we have the background. Um, okay, so this one we'll hide for right now so you see the full background. Uh, we'll drop this one down. These will all be grouped together. That will be the SIP under delay. Uh, we'll just confirm how that looks here. We have uh, color, mic, spin, and that. So I might want to add in the spin onto the SIP cord. Which, uh, no, I don't actually. We have a different uh, image that rotates. Uh, that, would, that would be the logo. So the logo is where I'd have that. Um, so with all this, and sorry for the uh, sniffling, uh, I may have a cold, um, but that we will see. B5E61D. Uh, I hope not, but uh, <laughs> we'll kind of do what we can, right? Um, so Discord callers, this one, uh, this one I have to, uh, keep the same, uh, unless I do a quick kind of modification and we'll call this all mic, my mic. Okay. Give it a moment. It might duplicate. I didn't want to talk through the duplication, so that should be fine. We'll remove that. This is where I watch OBS to see uh, because I can't uh, I can't hear my audio right now, but I can see my audio moving. So uh, that's uh, always kind of uh, an odd 
sort of thing to experience reality through. Uh, so we'll do the B5E61D to make all that here. So as I proceed, then that underlay will go further. Uh, we'll do um, all, and then we'll call that underlay. Uh, I'll do it like this, I think. Uh, all dash dash. Uh, no, I used to do it like this, so I'll keep doing it that same format. Um, with Windows uh, 10 here, the cursor is super big. I like that quite a bit, but uh, it gets in the way sometimes being super big and all. So uh, not 100% fantastic. Um, the old computer as well as with Windows 7, this being Windows 10. So I have a little bit of a growing pain with that, but uh, I don't know. I feel it's I feel like it's worthwhile. Um, and so here we have the, this would be under group. Uh, we'll call that underlay. And we'll call it underlay here. So we'll do underlay left mon. Is it set? Okay, left mon. It just, uh, because it's, this is uh, a larger name, longer name that uh, it, uh, cut off the mon side. So we'll have that under discord call and we'll say d call and then we'll have uh, under my mic. Uh, so that I'm going through such amount of like uh, movement and all that stuff. If there's anything that acts kind of weird, uh, I I'm sorry about that. I'm just doing the best I can. So what we'll do here is everything should be in order here. But I want to move this up a ways. I want to have this, uh, maybe we'll have it up to 70. Um, and, oops, we'll have that. Um, okay, I've, I figured it out here. So we'll do uh, left mon. And then we'll center this. We'll do transform center horizontally. We'll get us 480 by 480. And then we have 470. So I'll move this up. So that way we have a nice 480 all the way around. And then this will be our new, um, our new kind of sizing. So we have that, and so I'll take a screenshot of this, and that will go on to my side first. So there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and close out to this, um, because now that I've moved, no, I, I'll keep rolling with this, because I've moved this up now. Now, if we assume that this is even, this is even, and this is even, we might even be able to fit everyone underneath. And we'll do one of these. Fit everyone underneath and then have bits on the side. So this will work out really well. And then what we'll do is we'll just have like a bigger um, bigger kind of uh, setup here. So I'll bring everything off of uh, OBS. Um, we'll go over to... Uh, let's see, how is this working? Um, so this is the background. Uh, let's close out some stuff here. The template is what I was going to work on. So this is the good one to keep. Uh, we want the screenshot of everything here. And what we'll do is we'll juggle everything around. So that goes up a ways. Okay, so... Then that's on that side. This is on this side. So if we go in here, the ideal would be that this, if I save that, that turns, hmm. Oh, because it's capturing that window there. That's right. So yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Um, I was like, what? what is happening? Uh, the, uh, 
the sheer amount of uh, weirdness going on here is what's happening. Um, it's uh, <laughs> this is this is completely. Uh, it's one of those things where it's like doing doing new designs and such. Uh, you you have a whole lot of stuff to work with and a whole lot of space, but it uh, it gets tricky fast. So uh, come on now, save. Oh yes, you you're good. Um, so we have the uh let's close out the windows there that one's good to close for right now and so we have the screenshot that one's clo good to close um so with this one here if i see all of that then that's really good um save that again and so what i'll do here first is i'll edit with uh, having the, I believe it was 128 there, was the chroma key side of it for how I would do it for the um, OBS side. So if we go up here and move this up, then everything goes away. You can't see anything. Um, oh, that's because I had it as a, as a picture or as a color. So we'll get rid of this one, remove, and then I'll add in the picture. And this one will be, um, so we'll do sip. No, this will be, um, yeah, sip. And then this will be a new bag. And then I don't mind showing this right here. Um, so we have the underlay with the spin. Uh, seventh iteration, so call it that. Uh, we have the SIP and then the template. And so uh, right now you can't see anything because of the uh, the filter. I'll show that when I get it all done. Uh, we have chroma key, okay, and custom select color. Okay, so this, you should be able to see it now. So what I went is I went over, right-clicked, went to property, or filters, sorry, filters, and then added a chroma key using that and that. Then I did custom, and then I put in that uh, 255 120, 0128, uh, which works out very well for most chroma keying. Uh, you might know that as blue screen, you might know that as green screen. Um, because I use green, I can't green screen stuff. Uh, <laughs> so uh, there you go. So the way that I'll do this now is I'll lock all that. Uh, we'll drop this down so I can lock all of these. Um, so yeah, the way I think I'll do this is I'll have um, callers text. Uh, the way I would do it in the old OBS is I'd have the callers show up over here. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll show that in OBS because uh, I don't need to uh, worry about that so much. Um, now because I'm not showing the, uh, the other screen. Uh, let me show when I jump in to a call really quick. Um, when that loads up then uh, the text should show here. Um, sometimes that takes a while. That looks like it's uh, dead. So I would need to uh, work on that. Um, okay, so I'll just delete that. Remove and redo it. Done. So we have that go in there so we have the new beginning one which will be like the template um so with that i'll bring that over we have the bright uh sorry for the bright pink um you will see some quick transaction transitions like that uh don't mind it so much uh, if you do i apologize um and sorry for the uh sniffling nose um so what I'm thinking of is how I want to do the uh, the border because that would be the best way to um, lock this all down. 
Um, speaking of which, let's get that locked down. And let's see. I have to check something over there. Okay, cool. So when uh, when I do say over here, if I did one of these, then what will happen is that some pixels will act up kind of weird over here, which is uh, fine. But uh, yeah, it's not the uh, the best look. So what I might do is I might try to. Uh, there's no real good way to do it either. It just all kind of um, looks weird regardless. So I'll just go ahead and uh, uh, we'll just do a border. Yeah, this way. Um, no, we'll do it like this. Okay, cool. And so, uh, oh, I got it now. I know, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll draw it like this and just kind of um, have it somewhat like this and we'll clean it up a little bit later but that way it uh, the effect will be that it looks like a big border and that will work out fairly well um, I'll switch it over to the all but sip so you have a better view of it and then we'll chroma key that and no it's the reverse side so we'll reverse it like that, and then kind of just draw like that. Um, no, it's not going to look good right like that. Need to uh, just do just do the generic, I suppose, is the best way to do it. So just like that, and that way we can have a nice border, clean border, and then uh, figure out the details after that because. Uh, yeah, otherwise it's not going to look great. So this way at least we can have that consistency going. Um, we'll do... Mm, is that going to work? All right, let's see. Nope, that uh, I have to move that up a little bit. And we'll see, see how we can get this. Yeah, there you go. Cut it and move that along. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I think this will be a good look for the new beginnings. Um, now, as far as the topic itself, um, a lot of it I've covered in uh, some of the adjacent videos I do all the time, uh, kind of more of the podcast style. So I don't have a whole lot of uh, new insight um, based around like what I've been planning to do over the next year uh basically take everything that i've been enjoying and do more of that uh very simple phrasing but uh difficult execution of course um my plans are more specifically um i want to try to move out early in 2023 to a different place i'm currently in a very expensive apartment but uh, i have a lot of things so it uh it's kind of a catch-22 of how do I store all of these things, most of which I don't care about. Um, how do I get rid of them if I don't care about them, and how do I do all of that? Well, I don't know. It's tricky. Uh, if it were easy, I'd be doing it. <laughs> so the best I can say is that each day I try to do a little bit as I can, um, and the more that I do, the better, but... Uh, you can only do as much as you can. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be difficult with myself. I'm not going to hate myself or anything like that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see how this looks over here. Uh, looks pretty dang good to me. Um, you have the border. Save that again. So, if I move this around, then you get kind of like this would be the viewfinder. Um and do I have any of the, the assets of folks that I've uh, been talking about? Let's see uh, who I have. I have a lot of drawings based on, like, uh, showing. Uh, let's see if I go up further. We have uh, 
like the costumes or what I've been uh, drawing most recently, but I wonder if there's any from uh, the initial set. Yeah. Okay, so the template. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. There's the template, and then there's the, uh, the for example, Bella um, side of things. Hmm. So, for example, we have Bella here. The template, I could do a redraw for that, but it's also like there is a massive amount of labor just to do drawings. It's fun. I like it, but it, it, there's a lot. So what if what we do is we bring in Bella and the, uh, we'll say that as the uh, template of the... Uh, um, ghost template. And then Bella, we'll call that Bella main. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll bring that over here. And we'll do add image. And we'll say Bella um, main browse over here. So we have Bella up here. Hey, look at that. I'm very pleased with that. Um, I don't know how that looks too well on my side. Uh, so I'll take a screenshot. It looks pretty good, though, on your side, at least. Um, oh, yeah, this is very good. I like this a lot. Um, so I can have the title up here, and then I can have everyone down here. Yeah, this will be really good. This will be a really nice change. So we'll have, um, say, Bella, and then we'll have image. This will be ghost, main, and then we'll have that, chroma key. Uh, let's try this, filters. We'll have uh, chroma key. And we'll do ba 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 da da da, and then five two five five zero one twenty eight close. Okay, so copy, duplicate, copy, duplicate. And the way that this can work is rotate this uh, horizontally and then horizontally as well, uh, where we transform, rotate horizontally. So we can have, we can have comfortably four guests here. We could have like a uh, name and such. We could have that. Um, very good, very nice. Um, let's throw in, I don't remember when I drew Itty, probably before. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have any recent assets with Itty in there. Um, ba -ba -ba, where are you? Where's a good example for you? Um, let's go with this one here from uh, our random episode where we talked about marketing and such. Um, or do I want to go with one with uh, some easier chroma key? No, that'll be fine. Uh, we'll say itty. That was episode 18 of year two, uh, if you're keeping count. Um, so we'll say pirate, just to get that um, cleaned up a bit there. Uh, I also like to, as a note, with the new version of OBS, um, there's a little icon that says it's recording, and I haven't encountered any uh, encoding issues, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, so I'll bring this over, itty, and then with the new chroma key, what we'll do is we'll uh, transform, we go filters, say green on that. Uh, green, please, thank you. And then I'll flip that. Horizontally, so we have itty there. You can bring that down a little bit. 
And then do I have one for me that works? Uh, I'll get the one of, uh, let's see, I had one for, uh, that was a little bit above. And what I figure I'll do for the rest of it, right? Um, because there's still, the gray is still quite a bit, um, still quite large there. Uh, where did I put that? T -t 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 I had that somewhere. Here we go. Cool. This is for the retro episode where I dress myself up as uh, Kurt Cobain from Nirvana, my favorite band. So we'll do a ZP and then Cobain. Uh, and then I'll close out this one and that one. Cool. And instead, we'll have this, rename that, okay, and <laughs> the, uh, uh, <laughs> that didn't quite look good, so we'll do, flip that around, get the chroma key and looking good, um, and that should be fine. That looks a lot better. So cool. So yeah, then uh, we'll have room for quite a few more people. Do a screenshot of that so I can see how it looks. Um, pretty good overall. Chroma keying here with gray blends in and all that. You see some of the crunch, not over here, but down with, uh, with the drawing of me. You get the... Uh, the magenta and all that so that's when you use the uh you kind of preset the transparency rather than you let obs do it but obs is quicker so there's there are some benefits to that um so let's see what's next here as part of the custom or as part of the overlay what i'll do is i'll keep on drawing over here in the in the non let's see okay cool that I guess it just kind of the chat window acts up here um, hmm. uh, I'm not live so I'm not sure where oh it's because I'm not connected uh, <laughs> uh, I'm connected here, but not connected there. Okay, I just need to re-authenticate or something. I'll do that later. I'm not worried. Um, now that I know what's going on. So what I'll do here is I'll copy this to save that copy. Um, and then I don't think I want to go with uh, with a monitor too much anymore, um, or at least a big one. I'll put a small monitor here. Yeah, that's all I'll do. Small monitor, and then a small bezel. Small enough, I should say. Um, I'll have it with a box with a bit of a bezel here. Yeah, that'll work out better. And then I'll kind of mess it up just a little bit. Is that that's still a bit too plain? I'll kind of have. Uh, oh, I know what I'll do instead. I'll do kind of cheat it with having uh, kind of like this, and then I'll draw that. Uh, we we go on. All right, there we go. Cool. And we'll zoom in a little bit. Get that kind of cleaned up just a tad. There you go. And. Then we'll get this going like this. Uh, are we going? We going? We not? All right. Let's do one of the. Let's do it a little bit closer so we actually see it going, going through correctly, and we'll do that. Yeah, I think this will turn out very well. I think this will be a good uh, fit for the. Uh, uh, as we approach year three of the SIP. Um, We'll kind of um, be doing this 
Well, the the goal is to figure out how we can make money from it in a way that is uh, non exploitative for anyone involved. That we all get we all get what we want out of it. We all get fun. We all get uh, the potential for meeting new people and talking about things that we want to talk about and uh, be financially rewarded in a positive way that is rewarding for both the audience and for us. So that way we can do this as long as it is uh, feasible. Uh, these are some of the goals that we talk about at length uh, in some of the uh, some of the recordings that we do offline and such. Uh, some of our conversations that we have uh, are ways that we can figure out what we can do for that. So yeah, it's uh, it's turned out pretty well. I'm having fun with my friends, and uh, it's a good time for all. So there's our new monitor. A um, little bit. Um, so with with these, I think I want to move this down a bit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there we go. And then I want to move this down a little bit. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then this way I can have sip. At the bottom is kind of like the uh, the logo, if you will, uh, which even applies for the no name monitor. The no name monitor even has a name. So, what we'll do is we'll have. Uh, well, I, I like the idea of having like a uh, a, a on screen, or like an on button. So that will be right here. And then in the middle, which will be uh, measured precisely using uh, abstract mathematics, a.k.a. just drawing a line from here. We'll do that. Precise. <laughs> hey, good enough, right? Uh, we'll do one of these. Save it. Like, Look to see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. And then uh, what I do is in my custom typeface, I'll go ahead and draw a SIP. Uh, uh, we'll zoom in quite a bit more. So SIP, like this, SI for the semi-interactive. And then we have the podcast project named so as a legal sort of distinction between right now when it's a project and then later when it becomes a uh, viable product that we can uh, uh, sell sort of thing. So that's what we've kind of figured on and we figure it's okay. So that looks okay, but I need to drop it down one more pixel. One more pixel is all it will take to make this uh, work. So we'll get the pixels filled in on this side. Uh, we'll jump it up and we'll move that to the other side here and we'll uh, get this going a little bit here. Cool, cool. And so we'll then bring in the logo. Uh, not the biggest logo around, but I kind of like that. Um, so that way it's uh, not too terribly big. And the way I've liked to do this before, oh, I have to have the uh, spacing correct on that because it's by two. So, yeah, that's one, two. Is having uh, this appear in dark gray instead of black. Same with that. And then if we jump over here, then it uh, fills in a little bit nicer. So... I think that'll work out. Uh, we'll clean it up just a little bit here. Um, what we'll do is we'll chroma key that out. So it will, uh, yeah, we'll do that. So clean that up, get the uh, edges smoothed out, and then it'll look pretty nice after that. Uh, I like having some roughness, so it's not gonna be too clean. But for things like this, I figure, um, It'll be nice to uh, clean that up a bit and go in and do one of these. So maybe this will be the way to do it. Uh, like this is good. I like that. 
Uh, this is a bit kind of dirty, so we'll clean that up a little bit. And yeah, we'll do one of these. Okay, uh, get that out of the way. Okay, that all looks good. That all looks good as well. And we'll clean this up just a little bit and it will be good from there. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Clean up that, get this going, save it. And if I were to bring this in a different color, let's say brown, uh, that didn't work. What what broke? Because that should be the this should be showing in brown instead of in uh, um, black. So what happened there? Um, let's see if we do. What if I do in a different color? No. What if we do in green? Maybe because it's so similar to pink? Is that why? No? Okay, it is. It's because it's a very similar. Brown is very similar to pink. So there you go. There's your... Uh, there's your answer on that um that's a really that's a really strong threshold then i need to drop that down because um it has to be a lot more i need a lot more ability to um have different colors at that point so let's try this now because uh if i want to have brown yeah there we go if we want to have pink there you go as well. So cool. Uh, so I think ideally what I want to do is I'd want to leave it like I'll have the high fidelity with the, the magenta and then I'll have the kind of uh, what appears for the uh, OBS side where I won't have the chroma key. Uh, that might be the way to do it. it. Seems like that might be an answer. Um Oh, and I also need to undo a little bit because uh, I made that mistake. And I I caught it, so I fixed it. Nice. Uh, so let's get rid of that one. Uh, let's get rid of the this here. And before we go, because we're running out of, um, like, it's about one hour in. And I normally like to keep these about one hour. Um, so I'll draw the uh, background um, so that way there's a little bit of like um, we'll draw that in a different color so that way it's a little bit neater um, I might just do white on that so we'll save that in white and then I'll draw in the background kind of a yeah like this get that on that side uh, let's undo that, redo that, and do one of those, and then have that. I think that'll work fine, and then do I want to have, how do I want to do it then? As I could, this might be where I, it might be good to have a, more thought done offline but maybe i can do uh let's try let me try something here let me see if having uh, some uh, depth might make it look kind of cool so we'll do one of these just kind of see how this might fit and I'm not super worried about the uh i'm a little bit worried but i'm not gonna super fret over the uh the line's not being clean. We'll save it. So that could work. It does mean that the the uh, everything down under there is super uh, 
there's a lot of space and there's a lot of um, it's not used efficiently but that's also kind of the point is that this is one this is 50 percent of the space 50 percent and 50 percent is over on the other side here and then the rest is down there so this is the new setup um and we can even have it for when the overlay is kind of tricky then i can have the uh, speakers over here um Let's see though. I don't really want. I don't really like how that looked, but I do. I do have an idea here. So copy this. Resize that to fifty. Uh, we'll rotate it. I think. Rotate. No, we won't on this one anyway. Uh, I'll do it in a new window. Rotate this. Uh, we'll rotate it over here. Copy, undo. So I've rotated it, and then we'll do 50. Yeah, this this might be a, an interesting way to approach this. So uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll explain it in a moment here, but I'll have uh, one side over here and then the other side. They're not going to be completely even, and they're not going to remain in pink. What I'll do is I'll clean this. No, I'll, I'll leave it. I like the I like the kind of effect there. Um, but what I'll do is I'll have save it like that. So now we have uh, now we have some. Uh, no, I'll need to redraw it. Um, so we'll do that. Um, the way I'll do that is I'll redraw it using something like that. And we'll kind of do the same idea as before. Uh, the the basic idea, uh, I think that'll probably be fine, is to have um, the, this would be the, uh, in, let's say, 36 semi interactive podcast project new beginnings with and then this would be where I'd have the I'll save that and this would be with co-hosts guests hosts like this. And with that, you're going to have a really clean overlay design. And then that works out fairly well. Um, we have enough room for everyone. And there might be ways to have fun stuff in the middle. Because if... Uh, yeah, sorry, I have to stretch. If we fill up the background uh, with, uh, let's say, uh, let's say like this. So we'll have um, blue for the background, lighter blue for the foreground, and then um, we can have some of the assets um, move around to various places. We can have some, uh, like an animated thing down the middle. Things like that could be a fun way to go. Um, yeah, something like that could work out fairly well, but I think that this is a good template. Um, I'll remove the stuff like this. Uh, I'll remove this. And that, I might redo those each time, but at least this way, it's a good visual to end with that uh, 
shows what I'm kind of intending for this. And uh, yeah, I feel like this is a good start. So with that being said, um, I will uh, conclude by saying thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that the audio wasn't too bad. I hope that the uh, the quality was acceptable. Um, I didn't have the wherewithal or the uh, patience to troubleshoot more than 30 minutes of audio stuff today after troubleshooting a few hours worth of video stuff and everything. So this is what we got. This is what we're working with. And uh, I consider it good. Uh, with all that being said, take care and bye-bye.